Good morning, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, my sister. We greet you in the everlasting and all-sustaining name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. This 21st day of June, a multiple of seven, uh, calls upon us with the tentament of consecration today. This is one of our fast days. And as we will be fasting throughout this day, we limit our intake at this time that uh, the limit is really uh, the food for expansion spiritually as God would walk through this fast as he walked through the seventh day of creation and uh, he withdrew himself from the normal process of um, putting in place what we know today as earth. But uh, in order to make it, to supplement it, with what would uh, uh, be an outgrowth of his own spirituality, that, that, that rest time within his own purview. We, we celebrate such today, uh, normalcy. Uh, if you're looking for the abnormal, uh, the undergirding of the spirituality in the midst of crazy times that we are passing through, times that are not uh, uh, saluted by the sovereign or saluted before the sovereign. And thus we lose because we would not invest in the rest, the sovereignty of our Lord. Thus today, um, as it would be from 31 days of biblical empowerment, day 21 has us in the book of Revelation, Revelation 19, verses 15 and 16, where it says, And on, oh God, I felt the Holy Ghost right there, and on his robe, and on his thigh, he has a name written, <laughs> King of Kings and Lord of Lords, which, which in substance says, it doesn't matter who says I'm king of this, I'm over that, I'm an arbiter, I'm the one in charge, I have a lesser dominion, peace, Lord of Lords. Um, uh, there is a, a premise of prominence that uh, exudes from this text of this 21st day of June. And in spite of what the, the forecast is, uh, per those who believe they're in charge, that, that there is a God who is in charge of 2022. <laughs> uh, there is that, that God, and, and he comes today 
uh, and on his robe, that, that, that level of quintessential authority, and on his thigh, that, that, that muscle and strength of his um, preeminence is there alluded to, and he has a name. And thus, if what you don't see uh, is prevailing and shall prevail, uh, and his name written, uh, I mean, a reference to him wearing a monogram, <laughs> so, so you won't get uh, him and his preeminence mixed up with somebody who, 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 who is a carbon, well, who, who, who is not the original. He's just the carbon copy. Uh, the print came out well, but he, he's not the real one in charge. Um, and on his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written. My God, write it, Lord. And then from where it is written, may, 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 may our movement, well, may our reverence initially and the movement of our lives throughout this day be under the authority of King of Kings. Hallelujah. Our faith walk be of that, that reference point and Lord of Lords. He's ruler over every king, every leader and power on earth and in the supernatural. He is the zenith of all created and the epitome of all that exists. I agree with the songwriter who says, how great thou art. And in his greatness, when you think about it, uh, we usually associate him with sitting on a throne and ruling over an empire, king of kings, lord of lords. But this thought has great positive imports for husbands today and heads of households. More than 60% of our households being headed by women. There is a cry for them that the man return to the throne. References are highlighted here. Uh, King of kings. Lord of Lord. There may be some kings. There may be some lords. But if you're in the primary pray, place, and if your authority and regalia that you wear as head of your household reflects your kingliness or your queenliness, that authority rests and the one you give total supremacy to. Uh, so heads of households, males or females, there is a cry from them that the man return to the throne, the man of man, or the man of men, or the man of that quintessential leader the king of kings, the lord of lords, absence of males enthroned in the rightful places of families are attributed to many males lacking the presence of the king sitting on the throne of their hearts. Females, if you're there as head, serve, uh, honor such a, a place and a point in the pilgrimage that you are fastened with 
right now. Um, lead as the king of kings manifests his leadership through you. Uh, don't, don't deny the household of his preeminence just because, ladies, the man is not there. But the man of men, the king of kings, the lord of lords is operating through you. And we pray that because you've regarded him as the only source of life that you can depend on, there will be no lack in that purview, in that place that you now feel and you now hold. Uh, guide me now, O oh, thou great Jehovah, as I pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with your powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me with what I need to carry out this function that you've placed me in and now I'm depending on you to see me through. Uh, Jesus wishes to be king over unemployment, depression from downsizing, and the czar over malicious anger. And when able to assume the throne, he completes life totally. He is king over anyone who tries to presuppose your authority. He is king. And he shall work through you today in his kingly positioning over my head. I hear music, the king is coming. In my heart, I hear the sentence of such pressure that is outside my rule and reign, but the king is here. Uh, the Lord of Lords lead me, guides me and directs my thoughts, my thinking, and my speaking, King of kings, Lord of lords, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, when I had to go through this 21st day, where would I, I be? And I can hear the king declare, this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me we take him in now hallelujah hallelujah and where i am not fully prepared where i am not fully aware may my king my lord fill in the gaps of where his rulership is what leads me and guides me in where we as a family need to go. We as dependers upon your prominence will lead. I want to smell like you. <laughs> that, 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 that Psalm 45 reference. I don't want to be like you. Fill my house, the presence of the king. Fill my, my loft, my lodging place with the power of your lordship from the crown of my head to the very sole of my feet. And may thy wisdom that is now flowing through my veins and my arteries, my speech, the heartbeat of this old frail body of mine, 
the movement of these limbs from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, fill in the gaps, Lord. Fill, 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 fill in the financial needs that the household needs in order to function as every mouth in here find no lack. Uh, straighten me out and lift the strain from my shoulders. Give me strength where I need strength and provide the, uh, the, the, the straightness of speech and direction in order that those who are depending on me as leader and head is because he may not wear pants, I'm wearing pants. I, I got the pants of the house. If it's, if it's my lot to wear these, to do this, to say this, to provide in this period, we are not left without a pattern to follow. Uh, Sister Louise Dunstan used to be the seamstress at my old, my old home church at Little Zion. Every time there was a time for uh, new uniforms, especially the, the usher boards or the, the women's ministry or, or, or every time we need something special that she could don and fit and make it work. Sister Louise stepped in, provided the guidance, and provided the dressing for such that we were on our way to fulfill. King of kings and Lord of lords. That's, that's our theme and our devotional for this day. And uh, now I close with this dress me lord <laughs> from the inside out and may i be in you as a performer of that in which you give me to carry out and may my leadership today whether in uh, male tapestry or female tapestry, may we tap you where is needed and find in you our resting place and from that resting place provide guidance and, and gladness from the front door to the back and make such, make such impartations as will lead us and guide us from this day until you call us from labor to reward. Have a great day, my brother. Have a great day, my sister. And on his robe, woo, and on his thigh, he has a name written, monogrammed. <laughs> Where the monogram today? King of kings, Allah, and Lord of lords. Have a great day, my brother. Good God. Have a great day, my sister. <laughs> God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. <laughs>